What's up everybody and thanks for tuning in, I am Mike and today I'll show you how to paint Heath Ledger as Joker in the Dark Knight. With the same methods you see here, you can also paint different head sculpts and figures. Before we start, we need a coat of protective seal. Satin varnish will give us a shiny effect, which looks good on weapons, metal and armor. Apart from that, the paint will also get a more wet look. Matte varnish will prevent any gloss and in short, seal your model once before you apply pastel and once after you are finished. You'll want an even coat of protective seal, so to make sure that the spray nozzle isn't clogged up, I recommend cleaning it out with lukewarm water. At the beginning, we need a natural looking skin coat. For that, I use soft all-free pastel chalk. And with a scalpel, you can sand down the powder on a mixing plate. It's important for the pigment to stay on a clean surface. A simple plate from your kitchen can be a great mixing plate, but you can also use a paper towel covered in duct tape. I like to start by painting lips first, and for that I use red, brown and flesh colored pastel chalk. Skin colored pastel will give us a natural tone for the face and it can be applied on the entire surface. With a brighter coat of paint and a little bit of orange and blue, you will also get some highlights on the edges. Warm earth colors and brown tones give the skin a soft look. By using a small brush, the brown paint gets into the deeper areas. This is how we apply soft shadows. On screen, we only see Heath Ledger briefly without his makeup on. When Joker disguises himself as a police officer, the profile shot gives us a good view of the scars and different pictures of Heath Ledger are good references for the face. I tend to repaint the same head over and over again. So it might take you a couple of tries, especially at first before you have a skin tone that matches the one you want. Almost every sequence in The Dark Knight shows various details. Initially Joker's hair is yellow and dirty and later on it's a much more strikingly bold green. Heath Ledger dyed his hair many times in order to get this believable effect of multiple layers. It's this attention to detail and the little flaws that give this design the cool look and make it stand out. Which is why your head sculpt of Joker can always look a little bit different with slight variations to distinguish itself. Green and blue acrylics will be a good base for the hair coloring and brown and yellow pastel chalk adds some more detail.
a yellow coat of brown will also let Joker's hair look much more gritty and alive. After a couple of thin layers, we can also mix in white and add highlights on the edges. If you heavily water down black acrylics paint, it'll look just like ink. And one even coat on the surface pronounces shadows and darker spots. With a slightly grey looking coat of green, it's time to brighten the hair up again. And with a small brush, we can also apply more details on raised areas. Once we are completely happy with the hair color, we can start with the makeup. Initially, we need multiple thin layers of heavily watered down white acrylics paint. This way, we will leave out small spaces in between and the skin color will still be visible and look more layered. Many small brush strokes later and we can paint a layer of white on the eyes. Next up we need slightly watered down black acrylics paint. With that we can apply a small black circle. For Joker's brown eyes we mix black and red together. The more red gets mixed in, the more striking your brown will be. For the pupil, all we need is a carefully placed black dot. With some water, black acrylics and your smallest brush, we can then paint the makeup around his eyes. Joker's red lips also need a saturated coat of paint. Red, black, 
brown and skin colored pastel chalk needs to be mixed in with red acrylics. A little bit more red is enough for a second and stronger coat of paint and with that we can now paint the lips and scars. Once Joker got his scars, we can also add shadows with black pastel chalk under the eyelids. Brown chalk lets the skin look much more alive again and to finish the eye, I like to apply a small white dot. Red chalk gives the lips a much more homogeneous tone and with skin color chalk we can soften up the hairline. To get a much more even and softer transition between Joker's different layers of hair color, we just apply some yellow and brown pastel chalk. After covering the head sculpt one last time in protective seal, the chalk will stick to the surface. Before he is completely finished though, I like to apply a thin layer of gloss varnish on the eyes to give them a more natural and reflective look. And the same can also be done on the lips. Thanks for watching and if you want to see more videos like this, subscribe to my channel. Remember to like and comment down below what you want to see me do next or what I should improve. I'll be back soon with tutorials for Bruce Wayne and Superman. And in the meantime, down below you'll find a link to my website. There you'll also find tons of images and links for DeviantArt, Figure Realm and ArtStation. And of course, my shop on Etsy if you ever feel like getting a unique and fun gift idea for a friend. Thank you again for tuning in and remember as always, it's just painted plastic.